Mike Illich, the legendary owner of the Detroit Wet Red Wings and the Detroit Tigers today, uh, passed away, of course, on Friday. And hundreds of fans are gathering at Comerica Park right now. That's where we find our Matt Smith right now. And certainly Illich was such a symbol for everybody, Matt. And that's because he touched people in a variety of ways. We can talk about the brick and mortar here at the stadium. We can talk about the hundreds of jobs he gave people across the Detroit metro area, or even the passion that he brought to his daily life. And that, more than anything, is what's standing out to the people who are gathering here today. They just said they were here just to see, you know, all the pictures and everything. Message after message from Mike Illich. Though gone, his legacy lives on through the lives he touched. He's a great leader and cared about people. And those people cared about him. Each person reinforcing that on this wall. Some even going as far as calling Mr. Illich a hero. These two women broke down at the mere sight of today's gathering. Both worked for the Illich family. Neither thought of him as just a boss. Family. Well, family. 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 She's hardly alone in that feeling. So many of those that came here thought of Illich as something bigger than his brand, his teams, or even his work in the city. I needed to be here to say goodbye to, like I said, he's been like a dad to me and a lot of other people, and we're just going to miss him very much. You've never heard a bad word about Mike Illich from anyone, from, from employees to outside, and it's just truly going to be missed. And while people will miss Illich, those who mourn also say it's a time for others to follow in his footsteps. For others to see the impact Illich made on this area and do so as well. Everything he's done for the Tigers and the Red Wings, the best thing that happened in Detroit. Uh, so many people so sad to see Mike Illich go. You can actually see the flowers at the foot of the Tigers Stadium statue out in front of Comerica Park. You know, this is that historical spot. So many of you have likely taken pictures here. Now people publicly mourning for the man who owned this very team. And while you only see a few people behind me now, we really saw an explosion of people right around lunch. We're expecting even more people after work gets out. And oh, by the way, they've got lights out here. They're expecting crowds all the way through 8 o'clock tonight. For the Now Detroit. I'm Matthew Smith. Yeah, those pictures and the words on the wall. Have you seen anything really profound on that wall behind you yet, Matthew? You know, I got to tell you, just seeing the word hero and love so many times, a lot of people say that they loved Mike Illich. Uh, not something you typically see when you're talking about uh, uh, somebody who wasn't actually a fan or, or somebody, a family member, but so many people say they truly had a love for Mike Illich because of what he brought to this city. And while we're outside of Comerica Park, obviously this is much more than sports to people. This is a man who truly made a difference in his city. All right, Matthew, thank you very much for that live report. By the way, more information now on the public visitation for Mike Illich. It'll take place at the Fox Theater on Wednesday from noon until 8 p.m. It is a public viewing in the grand lobby of the historic building, Mr. Illich and his wife, Marion, fully restored right across the street from Comerica there. And we want to invite you to watch our hour-long special, a tribute to Mike Illich. You can see Celebrating Detroit's Champion Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, only here on 7.